Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by Ankpro Training from Ankpro Technologies. So before going into the practical data structures and the program, let us understand what the data is. The term data comes from its singular form called datum which means a fact. Here the data is a fact about people, places or some entities. Let us talk in practical. In computers data is simply the value assigned to a variable. So what's a variable? Variable is simply a name given to any particular memory location. For example, here name is a variable which contains the string Raj and class is also a variable which contains the number it, 12 which is an integer here and age contains 18 marks is also a variable which contains 80 and subject as well which contains the string mathematics so all these are data we have got a specific format in which we store the data into the memory locations and each memory location is named uh, to identify uniquely and these locations are called as variables which can randomly change uh, its content. And now let's talk about the data structure. A data structure in computer science is a way of storing and organizing data in a computer's memory or even disk storage so that it can be used efficiently. Right? So data structure is not a language, it's a technique or it's a methodology in which using which we are going to store a huge amount of data into the computer's memory. So data structure provides us the uh, data abstraction, so data storing methodologies where we can store a huge amount of data uh, in the memory in such a way that we can access it any point of time efficiently and properly without losing any data or or without having confusion in the data and with the less time. So why data structure is needed at all? To achieve proper and systematic arrangement of data, variety of operations such as insert, delete, search and sort can be performed using as few resources as possible. And using data structure we can speed up the execution and save time and we can use the memory space efficiently. So data structures are implemented by a programming language by the data types and the references and operations provided that particular language. So data structure is not uh, defined for any particular language. So it generally can be implemented using any language. So using those languages, syntaxes and rules we are going to build the data structure. So this is the important point you should remember. So there are typically two types of data structure in the computer science. One is the linear data structure and the other one is non-linear data structure. So a data structure is said to be linear if the elements f form a sequence. For example, we have learned already the array and the other are stack, linked list, queues. So all these are linear data structures uh, in which data is going to be in the sequence or say we are going to store the data elements in order in order or in a sequence and we are going to follow the same sequence or the order while retrieving it back or traversing, right? And the other type is nonlinear data structure and elements in a nonlinear data structure do not form a sequence. They are arranged in the random order. Examples are trees and graphs. Here the data elements are arranged in the form of relationships among them. Right? So regardless of the type of data structure, it's all about storing the data into the computer's memory. So with this picture you will get a clear idea of different types of data structures and all about data structures. And what are the operations that we can perform on data structure? I said data structure is all about storing the data and retrieving the same back from the memory, right? 
So the data manipulation within the data structures are performed by means of certain operations such as inserting, searching, traversing, sorting and deleting. Inserting means uh, creating the new data into the memory or we are going to insert the data elements in the order into the memory and searching is uh, finding a particular element in the data structure. Traversing means uh, visiting the each data element into the memory uh, at only once. Sorting means rearranging the data elements or the data structures or the uh, items present in the data structure in an order that we want. Deleting means removing the data from the data structure and clearing the memory space. So these are the fundamental operations that we are going to do on data structure. In the next class we will be learning the practical applications of data structure. Well friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.